Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today I want to show you how to clean up things like scratches, dents, dirt, all that crap in your photo. So, I have this picture of taxis right here that I got off the internet, um, and as you can see, if I wanted to put this photo into something like a magazine, sometimes when you have like magazines they want everything to be perfect so they photoshop up a lot of pictures so if you take a look at this you can see a couple of things wrong there might be even more but we've got this dirty ass um, ad sign up here that's got a bunch of dirt on it and let me show let me highlight this stuff for you so you can see it here I'll just use a brush click on the brush and we, we've got this uh, crappy ass, ooh, nice brush I got there. Crappy ass, dirty sign. And then down here we've got a bunch of cracks and dents and stuff like that. So I want to clean those up. And I want them to look like the area that is around them. So what I'm going to use is this, what's called the spot healing brush. And it's the one with the band aid with. Uh, some like dotted lines in the background so that's a spot healing brush and the settings you want to have on for right now are content aware and uh, this will sample what's around your image to um, fill in the area that you want to remove so let's uh, zoom in into one of the areas let's zoom in into these scratches down here so we got a pretty decent area where we can see these scratches and let's click on our spot healing brush if your healing brush isn't the right size you can use the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard to um, mess with the size so we've got this scratch here and um, just make sure your settings are around this that we have right here um, I've got my size at 40, hardness at 100, spacing at 25. So these are the default settings that it came with. I'm not going to mess with them. Just click and just like paint where you want to, uh, what you want to get fixed. So we had those two dents right there. And a let go and it'll fix that area. So I got um, this big ass scratch right here. Click get some of the background in there don't try not to get any of the black because then it's gonna use that so we got that area there and now that scratch is pretty much gone same with this try to keep it on the same plane as you can see that this is a different plane than this so this defining line right here is going to show um, like the, the definition between the front flat part and the curved side part there so you don't want to go over top of the line so I'll show you what I mean I like try to get this line out I guess this sh it doesn't it, it just doesn't look that great you've got the shadows here that define the edges but the line defines it more and it looks like this um, this taxi has been hit like in this area before the taxi driver hits something because it looks like it's pretty dented here he's got a bunch of um, repairs that have gone on so let's try and see if we can repair anything else so I mean sometimes it's not the not the greatest at repairing and you have to go over it again or maybe go over it a few times so that's uh, working there we've got the scratch here so uh, that's how you um, use that to fix up that kind of stuff so let's go over to those um, that dirty sign and try using this again so we've got that scratch right there now that's gone here's another scratch this is too easy way too easy isn't it you get rid of all that stuff and now it's not so dirty if you try to take a big portion like something like this for one, it's going to take a lot of time for Photoshop to um, process. So you can see it's waiting and it doesn't always give, give you the best results. So keep your uh, brush strokes down to uh, like a minimum. Just keep them, keep them small 
and in fact just uh, get what you need to don't try to do everything all at once now if you try to like let's go to a different thing here we've got this beach thing here and if I want to try to remove this and just have no lifeguard here and just have a beach let's try that real quick and you can see what happens so I'm gonna increase my brush size So uh, I'm going to try to get everything here to so take this completely out. So i got to get into the sand a little bit. Get that trash can out of there. And got to get that shadow out of there. Oh, I left a part in the middle. Damn it. So it's going to compute now. It's going to be all effed up because I left this in the middle. So I'll pause this and let this do its thing. So I canceled it. And let me redo this get all this stuff real quick and I won't forget anything in the middle this time come on and there we go it doesn't, looks like I didn't forget anything now I'll let go and it's gonna um, compute and then I'll pause this again and when it's done I'll let you guys see what it does so here it is it's getting ready to do what it's doing we're waiting for it to calculate itself I thought it was going to be done once it hits the end bar, but um, Photoshop is this. Sometimes when you do huge areas like this, with a and this picture has a lot of pixels in it, so as you can see, we didn't get the best um, we didn't get the best removal on this because it's a huge set and it doesn't always work on huge things unless it's like a constant background. So if there was no sand and no water and it was just this constant sky then it might work but it did a pretty de decent job of removing it not great however because we can obviously see stuff that we don't want so I wanted to show you another way that we can um, use this so it's pretty much like the spot healing tool except we're going to use selections so let's go back to our taxi here and we'll back up and we'll come back down to here where we probably have some more things that we can fix up like here's a little dent spot there there's a dirt spot so let's uh, mess with these so pick like something like your lasso tool and make a selection around the area that you want to fix so we got that selected and then just come up to edit and click fill and then make sure you have use as content aware you got some other things here that I don't know if you want, really want to use but content aware is going to do almost the same thing as a spot healing brush hit OK and it'll fix the area for you. You can control D to deselect and uh, that basically does the same exact thing. So the benefit of using the content aware selection or I mean the uh, fill content aware is that you can make pretty nicely looking s selections with your different selection tools that you got and then you can be a little more precise than just using the brush tool unless you want to spend a lot of time like getting everything in with the brush tool then use this to um, get complex selections in there or if you just like using this way better because you can select and all, all that stuff then go ahead by all means use that instead of the spot healing brush so that's gonna be it for this tutorial we're gonna go on to learn more about content aware items in the next uh, tutorial so keep watching and uh, I don't know, subscribe if you want to see some more. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.